On May 12, 2020, two single parents in their 30s who lived approximately a mile apart in Pinellas Park died within two hours of one another from fentanyl overdoses. Michael Glass and Lisa O'Neill never knew each other, but U.S. Attorney Roger Hanberg says they died the same way, from fentanyl distributed by the same person, Bobby Peterson. Hanberg spoke about the case on Tuesday, along with DEA special agent in charge, Deanne Ruder. For many, they do not even know they're ingesting fentanyl. Just like in this case, the victim believed they were buying and using heroin. Illicit fentanyl is 50 times more potent than heroin. A potentially lethal dose can fit on the tip of a pen. Hanberg says phone records show O'Neill had been buying opioids from Peterson since at least January of 2020. And they say Glass thought he was getting heroin from friend Jacqueline Schneider, who got the supply from Peterson. Schneider also told police that when she told Peterson that the victim had died, he expressed no remorse and instead responded, they know what they're doing. If he wasn't feeling sorry then, he may be now. Peterson, who had several prior state felony convictions for trafficking drugs, was handed two life sentences Tuesday. Peterson will never again have the opportunity to endanger anyone in this community. A jury convicted Peterson of three counts. They include conspiracy to distribute fentanyl resulting in death, distribution of fentanyl resulting in death, and distribution of fentanyl. Glass and O'Neill, two of too many deaths in Pinellas Park, the police chief says, and nationwide. Between February of 2018 and June of 2023, the city of Pinellas Park experienced 727 opioid-related overdoses, and of that, 96 people died. And that's just Pinellas Park proper, 15 square miles, 55,000 residents. So the problem is obviously pervasive. A tragedy that continues to unfold. Kaylee Tracy, Fox 13 News.